Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning. Yesterday was Wednesday. The, uh, the video of me getting all those logs aired yesterday, but yesterday was a rainy day and I was going to actually do something. I was going to work in the garage, but I was in a fog. I tried to put a railing system up and I even shot some time lapse footage of it, but I ran into a problem and I've got a solution for it, but uh, I had to talk to the quality control expert and uh, my wife was at the office all day yesterday. So anyway, she's okayed it and I'll get back to that some other day. But today, I've got to think bigger because this is a huge mess of logs and it works just fine the way I was doing it where I was taking the pallet forks and you know bringing it over and cutting up a piece at a time or a few you know just roll them off the pallet forks that's great but I need a larger live deck than just the pallet forks I have an idea for it I also need to move the operation uh, the weather is going to get nicer I know this is March but you know we can get any type of weather here in North Ohio we could have 12 inches of snow who knows but I need to move it out here so I can split where it gets stacked uh, so I'm not going to stack the rest of my dad's stuff it's just going to get thrown in that corner but I'm going to process out here um, so I'm going to bring the logs out and I'm going to buck them out here and then I'm going to have the splitter out here and when I get done splitting I'm just going to you know it'll be a lot more efficient but the very first thing I need to do is I have a trailer load of this wood for my dad and I've got to get it out there so I have room to drive through here So arguably this could be the last time that I use this trailer system. Uh, I mean, you know, I still have it. So if I need it, I'll use it. But uh, this is all just gonna be thrown in the corner over there. And uh, from now on, even if I'm splitting in the barns, the stuff for my dad, I'm just gonna throw in a pile and uh, I'll scoop it over here with the tractor. Because, uh, you know, there's no reason to do this. No more handling my dad's wood. There, that's done, out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna head off the comments section right now. I know it's on concrete, concrete retains moisture and it'll seep up into the wood. And I know this is in a bulk pile and that's not the best way to dry it. But this is just temporary storage. This will be going to my dad's house where he will stack it nicely and neatly on pallets. He used to stack it in the mud. He used to put it right on the ground and the bottom layer would, you know, in the wintertime, it would get frozen into the ground. You have to use a spud bar to pop the things out. Anyway, this will be just fine until I can deliver it to my dad's house. So on to the next thing. All right, splitting wood is gonna happen right here. Yeah, actually on the other side. I think I'll split here and I'll throw my dad's over there. I'll throw the good stuff over here and stack it. I don't know about the position of this yet. It seems like it's gonna be okay right here, but uh, yeah, yeah, it seems like it's gonna be good. Now, where do I stack the rounds? Okay, that's a lot better. Now, I got these things over here out of the way a little bit because the concrete on this side over here is worse than the concrete over here. So I can stack rounds on the ugly concrete and stack the finished stuff on the nice concrete. I also wanna say, some people were saying that wrapping this in plastic, they're not gonna dry out. They're gonna dry out. I mean, people wrap plastic bundles. And yes, that's already pre-dried wood. I, I, I still, it's gonna dry just fine. Uh, it does keep it from falling off the pallets when I move it. So it's uh, more, more good than harm for sure. All right, now into the barn. So heading back into the barn here, I think I just need to do a lot of cleanup. Um, I've still got a bunch of rounds over here. I'm gonna bucket those over to the splitter and I'm gonna finish splitting over there. I'm gonna rake all this out again and get this all cleaned up. 
I don't know exactly what's going to happen in here. I might store pallets in here. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure. I'm still going to split in here when the weather's bad. I'll still do some processing in here when the weather's bad. But it just needs uh, cleaned up right now. Okay, guys, in the process of uh, cleaning up here, I was going to move this IBC tote, and look what I just discovered. The top of my pallet forks line up exactly with this bar on this IBC tote that I cut the front out of. Do you know what I just made? I just made a lightweight material bucket. That's fantastic. So I wrapped a bungee cord around this top bar, and now the basket will stay on the forks, and I can dump the material out. <laughs> Now I've got my log splitting station set up real nice over here. Uh, this was really cool. This uh, lightweight material basket, I was able to stack all this. This is all oak, red oak, heavy, and uh, moved it out here without a problem. I could just grab it, split it up, throw pieces where they belong, stack them on a pallet, boom, 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 keep going. So this is good. I've got one more space that I need to perfect. Come on. So if you remember in a previous video, I have this set up right here. This is my bucking station. I've got a ash log that's split in half. I use the two halves of it and you can see all the chainsaw marks all over it. Helps me to uh, not dull my blade. And I just set it on top of some heavy duty pallets. Uh, so it brings it up to height where I can buck comfortably. So I want to set up a larger live deck. Now remember I used the pallet forks to do that before, but the pallet forks aren't gonna hold enough. I'll be able to do maybe one or two logs at a time. So I'm gonna get this moved into position and I'll show you what I thought of. Okie dokie. Well, I had to take my coat off. It is getting warm. So what we have here is a makeshift uh, live deck, if you will. So if I line those up with the ends, uh, I cut all of my logs to 80 inches, which is five sections at 16 inches each. I will be able to just lay these logs on here and you probably can't see it on camera, but this has a slight downhill slope right here. It's just the natural slope of the concrete. So that's why I picked this spot. Yeah. So anyway, the logs will hopefully roll down. I might have to tack like a piece of two by four across here to keep them from rolling into the way and then just roll them over that piece of two by four or something like that. I don't know. We'll see how it works first and uh, fix what's wrong.
All right, well, there you have it. That's a big old mess of logs ready to buck. So yeah, this should work well. Just roll them off onto here, cut them. Uh, this one's gonna be a little bit of an issue because that big knob on it and it's so heavy, but I'll probably just cut the end off of it, make it more manageable, roll it a little bit, cut it again. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be sitting down there, but the good brown ones like this and that, and all of these are really nice and round. Uh, they'll just roll right into place and uh, cut them up. <laughs> oh, and then of course the rounds will just go off to the side over there, ready to be split. Yes, I love a good system. <laughs> now I just need to execute. Well, that was amazing. That took me 20 minutes, 20 minutes to cut all those logs. Best part about it is I cut all of that over there and I didn't turn the saw off at all. I kept the saw running. That's the key to this whole system. Keeping the splitter going while you're splitting, keeping the saw running while you're sawing, you know, get everything one, two, three, nothing's in the way of anything. It's, it's all laid out. The worst part about it, and I'm still blinking, is my back is facing, facing the west, so the wind is behind me. And it's northeast Ohio, so of course we have wind. So it swoops and swirls up into my eyes. I gotta get better goggles, I'm just crying right now. But I love the way it works, it works great. Uh, I hope you got something out of this. This doesn't cost anything. These are a couple of six by sixes, old treated six by sixes, pallets, you know, just laying it out. You could do this in anybody's wood yard. You could do this anywhere, but this is a great, great system here this this really is going to save me a lot of time 20 minutes to cut all those rounds it was good so anyway hope you got a lot out of this week i uh, love that you're here and i love that you're subscribed so hit those buttons i appreciate it and i will see you the next time i am doing more stuff catch you then